Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's been a bit. I know I am not a steady filmer and I'm so sorry about that, you guys. Um, just life happens and it gets the best of me and then I'm like a week passes, two weeks, three weeks and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be here. I'm going to film. I'm going to do this. And then I don't, and I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> and um, also too, I buy most of my products, so I don't have like all this nourishment of products coming in left and right to really show you guys the latest and greatest. Um, I just like to film because it's a chance to talk to you guys and share my love for makeup, and then in hopes that you'll return the same and just let me know what you guys like and what works for you. So with that being said, I did recently pick up um, a product that I've been wearing and loving and I don't necessarily think I'm new to the game with this. It's been out for a little minute. Um, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear. And I like that they said up to because a lot of them will promise you 12 hours, 16 hours, and then if it falls flat, you're like, what the hell is that? What was that? So this is very true though, up to 24 hours. I haven't quite been up for 24 hours to tell you if it works, but I will tell you that it keeps your skin looking really fresh and beautiful all day long and um, with minor touch-ups because I still believe even the best promising foundations still need a touch up or two. It's just the reality of it. So anyway, I really love this. I have it in two colors because I've been really into mixing just to get a little bit of highlight, a little bit of depth. Um, and also too, because sometimes drugstore or even, you know, high-end foundation, it's just so hard to get it on the money with an exact match because we all have such different skincare problems, concerns, undertones. I have a lot of redness in my skin. So having a nice balance and at an affordable price is great. Um, another product I'm really loving also by L'Oreal is the Infallible Full Wear, which is more than concealer, it's called. Um, I love it. I don't know necessarily that it's more than a concealer. I don't know what they mean by that, um, but it definitely works. It's definitely a long wear and it's definitely full coverage. And I think it's very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, Shape Tape, it's like you either love it or hate it. And I feel like that's how it is with this new L'Oreal concealer. And then another product that I have shown you guys on my channel before that I'm really, really loving is the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. And what I've been doing is finding that if I mix these two together, I'm getting a really great glowy, youthful finish to my skin because my skin is changing. Um, and it, I find that it lasts a long while and I just love the wear, the complexion, the cover. And I recently picked this up, the Wander Beauty Wanderlust um, Powder Foundation. I picked up the color light because I am quite fair. And I usually only finish with a powder and generally in my T-zone areas where I like to keep it bright. So this is something that you can actually use as a full coverage foundation. It comes with a sponge and you can wear it just by itself. However, I'm gonna use it as a touch-up finishing um, powder. And you know, it can go either way. I'm not a big powder foundation fan just by itself, but I like knowing that if I wanted to dust something on, I had to be out the door really quick. That's an option. So let's get into it. Um, also, I'm going to try this. This is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume Curl Mascara. It came as part of a free gift on Nordstrom.com. So I ordered this and I got this. So I'm excited to try this. And let's see what we want to prime with. I think I'm actually, I have a little sample here um, of a Visionaire Blur from Lancome, which I'm a huge fan of the Visionaire line. I use the cream, the serum, um, the night cream. So this is called their Visionaire Blur. And I'm gonna just try this as a primer because I'm not a huge primer person, to be honest. I have yet to find one that I love so much that I can't live without. I have to have it every single day. Um, and truthfully, I feel like if you moisturize and take care of your skin, you probably don't even need primers. I know a lot of companies push primers because personally, I think it's a sales tactic. It's a chance to kind of, you know, link sell products. 
but I personally don't think they're always necessary if you take care of your skin. I have my ginormous sponge from Real Techniques and I find I like putting this particular mix on with just the sponge. Sometimes I'll go in with a brush and then my sponge, but I like this just by itself. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the Morphe Continuing Setting Mist. Um, it's kind of a hydrating finish and I'm just gonna hit my sponge with that just to kind of prep it more. But I always pre-dampen my sponges before I film. So yeah, but anyway, this is, both foundations are very liquidy. So with this, I definitely recommend if you're gonna put it directly to your face, that's fine, but just be careful with it on the back of your hand because they will kind of run a little bit. And the two colors I have for L'Oreal today are linen and I believe vanilla. So I like the mixture of both of these. Vanilla is a little bit more warm and golden. Linen's a little bit more fair um, and yellow. And then my Wander Beauty is a nice, rich, warm undertone. I have the medium. So I am not medium by itself. I was when I first picked this up because I was kind of like coming out of the whole summer months here in the south. So I like to mix it with a lighter foundation so that I don't have that line of demarcation. But what I love about these foundations and I think they're actually very sim similar formulations in that they're a lighter liquid texture, lightweight feel. They have a very nice natural finish, um, even somewhat radiant. And it gives you coverage that is definitely medium to full because you can build it really well, but it never feels super heavy on the skin. And I like that because sometimes when you go for a radiant finish, you'll find if you have combination skin like myself, that even having a little bit of dryness to your skin, it's still too heavy, it still feels oily, and it's just not a good fit. These particular formulas, I feel like if you have combination skin, it's gonna feel really comfortable on your skin. It's, so that's why I really, really love both of these formulas, and I love them even more together. So I'm gonna take a little bit now and work it onto my neck just to make sure everything blends. Um, if you don't like to mix to your neck, then don't. Honestly, I just do it out of habit because I like everything really thick, full coverage. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm extra, you guys. So I'm even gonna go in a little bit more in my cheek area let that sit for a minute and then come in and actually pull the color down into my jawline and my neck. Okay, so now moving on to concealer. Um, I have two colors in the concealer and what I really love is just kind of, again, mixing the colors to get to the perfect shade. Um, I'm trying to see what color I actually picked up. Okay, so I have um, 325 eggshell and 355 vanilla. Um, now the vanilla definitely has a more yellow undertone to it, so it is going to be a little bit closer to the um, color of my overall foundation, which I like because I like having that little bit of balance where it doesn't look too pale next to the foundation, um, but eggshell I like because it does have that kind of like white yellow to it. So one is more of like a true yellow base, the other one has more of like a white yellow. So I like to use that on the inner corners and anywhere that I truly like to highlight. So even up in the brow bone is good and up here on the cupid's bow. And I like the mixture of both of these together. So really you can do it any way you like, this is just what works for me. And I'm gonna blend this out with a beauty blender. Again, just get it a little bit more dampened and start blending and buffing this out. I'm 
I'm gonna set my concealer right now and my bake um, using the Fit Me Maybelline powder in the color Fair Light. And I love this because these are all pretty much affordable products except for the Wander Beauty, which is a little bit bougie. Um, but I don't rarely use super, super high end unless it's a favorite product of mine. I like every product does not have to be high end with me. So I could care less if you use Maybelline products, whatever works best for you guys. Um, but I do really love this powder. Love the um, little bit of color to it. I like the texture. I like the way it brightens. And I'm just going to dust now a little bit of the powder off my eyes here. I do that just to set the concealer, but I don't want that to sit and bake, obviously, because I'm gonna do eyeshadows. So anyway, moving forward, I don't wanna do too much with my eyes today. I wanna kind of keep it really natural and subtle. Um, because I really want this look to be more about complexion. So I think I'm actually going to do complexion first. And I'm using what is left of my Morphe 9C palette. Because again, I love Morphe products aside from the foundation. And this was a really great contour palette that they don't make anymore. And I really think in my heart, you guys should bring it back. Because it had really great, cool, cool contour tones. And they're not super warm. You have some warmth here. But you have these nice kind of grayed out... Um, even like blue brown undertone colors and I think that that's great for contouring personally anything that is super warm is just going to look like orange eventually on the skin um, and the Smashbox step-by-step -step is really nice too it's just not a whole enough color in my opinion I know it comes you know as like a standard contour set, but I personally like the Morphe because you have options of going really dark for deeper skin tones, or you can go in that mid-tone gray for light medium. I don't know, I just like variety, and I feel like when you fall in love with a product, brands are so quick to change things, and Morphe did change and put out newer contour products, and it's just not the same. So anyway, going to go into this and kind of grab a mixture of these grayed out tones, whatever is left of this color, and a pop of warmth I always add when I contour. And this is the Morphe M536, and I really like this brush to get in and just do a very subtle contour. And I'm only bringing it about this far. So I don't wanna to drag too much contour and make it look like a huge mess in the front of my face. to come up into the temples, cross my forehead. Everybody's face shape is different. So with contouring, I have more fullness underneath my jaw. So I tend to shadow this area because I don't want to go too high and then have all of the fullness down here sticking out. I want to obviously contour and conceal down in here. So I like to add more depth here. And I know some people that actually go higher up onto the jaw in contour. I just think it really depends on your face shape and what you're trying to conceal. Okay. And then for me personally, I like to buff out with bronzer um, just to give it some more color, some more tone. And we are going to use the Morphe 435, and I'm going to grab my favorite bronzer, so affordable, Physicians Butter Bronzer. This is in Sunkissed Bronzer. And I'm just coming up higher into the cheekbones here, across that temple, down into the hairline, down the jaw, just to accentuate the warmth and the bronze. 
So going into eyes, I don't want to, again, do too much. I have my Laura Mercier, um, this is the Bohem Chic Clay Palette, and this, I don't know if you can still get, I know it was a limited edition, um, but I love this because it is like a clay cream to powder finish. So I'm going to actually use this really pretty kind of frosted off-white color, and I'm going to work with my finger and just place this all over my eyelid into my brow bone and I'm going to go in with let's see here let's grab can't decide what I want I'm gonna grab an Anastasia a12 and this is just your typical buffing brush and I'm gonna go into this like movie soft pink color here and work that in And just kind of get this all over my lid into my crease. There is a clay palette brush specifically um, when you shop Laura Mercier. And it's a bit kind of rounded, almost like the contour brush I'm using, the synthetic brush. And it's really nice for these kind of shadows because they are a different texture. But um, if you use anything with like a boar bristle or anything of that nature it's still going to pop the color it's just going to be softer so it's up to you guys if you want to get the specific brush for it um i think i have one that looks similar let me see it's kind of similar to this style like almost like a bullet crease style and you can use that too if that's you know what works better for you i'm actually going to use the, this is the morphe 321 and I'm gonna run this under the lower lash line because I like having a little bit of shadow underneath there. And for my crease, I'm gonna go into this really pretty matte taupe color that's in this palette and work that on a Morphe 441. And I'm going to go back in with that same um, taupe color in a 321 brush. Let's see if I can get this to shade a little bit more in my crease. And I'm going to grab the rose gold color, which is on top in this palette. And it has definitely more of a sheen to it. And just glide that across the eye such a pretty color it's like the Charlotte Tilbury pop shade very pigmented very almost like wet looking I'm gonna go back into that pinky mauve color and just bring that back across the crease again and then of course that kind of soft off-white color just across the brow bone so you can leave it just like this or you can go ahead and do eyeliner and I'm actually going to do eyeliner and brows off camera um, because I personally love having eyeliner no matter what. And I'm going to use my Master Precise All Day from Maybelline but this is in Forest Brown so it's nice. It'll be a liquid line but a softer liquid line than more of like a true black so stay tuned. Okay guys, so now that my eyeliner is on and my brows are on, I'm just going to set my brows using NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, which is one of my favorites. So moving on, I wanna actually finish now with finishing the overall face, and we're just gonna finish and set using this Wander Less Powder from Wander Beauty. And I'm gonna skip the um, little sponge puff that comes with it and just use my BH marble um, under eye brush and see how this goes and I'm just dusting away to any of that bake that we might still have on our face and most of that for me has melted in but I like to just go in and finish with an actual like setting powder 
But this powder feels feather light on the skin, and I love that. It feels a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finishing Powder that I usually use, um, but I'm almost hitting pan on that. So this feels really nice, and I like the option too, like I said, of having that little sponge. So if you're ever out and you need to touch up, you can press. And again, this is the color light, which I think has a lot of color to it, truthfully. Um, I probably could have even gone a little bit lighter because this has a really pretty like yellow base to it. But it's really nice. It feels very light on the skin. All right, for blush today, I want to use the Maybelline Fit Me in Rose. So let me just grab a brush for that. I love these Fit Me blushes. And I think they're underrated. But this is a really pretty rosy pinky color. Now I need to curl our lashes. I'm going to use my Tweezerman Rose Gold. It's a very rose vibe today, guys, because it's almost spring. Okay, I'm excited to try this mascara. So I'm going to use... Um, my little compact here just to see where I'm going. So I find it like so hard not to have a mirror right there when you work on your mascara. But um, really quickly, I'll show you guys the wand. The tube is kind of interesting. I, I don't know. It looks a lot like the foundation tube. So I'm just like, my fear is like, would any type of mascara come out? Is it liquidy? Um, but once you open it, you still got that same kind of suction back with any mascara. And it's just a really clean, pretty wand that almost has like a little bit of a squiggle to it. I don't know, it's different. So let's give it a whirl. And I'm a big fan of going into my base and rolling. So we'll see how much unlashed volume I get right now. And it looks to be like a muted black. It's not super harsh, the black. Well, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it that well on camera, but it has a really pretty thick band almost going on without it feeling clumpy, which is a huge thing for me because I love volume, but I don't like it when mascara looks like spidery. I know some people love that, but for me personally, I'm not a fan. That's really pretty actually. Yeah, I like this a lot. Definitely excited to keep using that and see how it goes. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, when you first use them, they're great and then it takes a little while and then all of a sudden you're like, what happened to my mascara? It's not the same anymore. But um, right now, I really like it. I'm just going to go ahead and touch up just a little bit more. I like to blend everything out like a hundred times. I need to put on a lippy. So I think I'm just going to do some MAC. Mm, I thought about subculture. Let's see. I want something more mauve so let's do Soft Spoken from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm just okay, so I actually, I love this lip liner so much that I think I just want to keep it this color. I don't know. And now we're just going to go ahead and set again using our Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I love it. <laughs> I always love it, right? Um, but yeah, it's super soft kind of everyday type glam, a little bit extra obviously with the wing liner and the brows, uh, but you could take it down a notch and just do maybe a pencil line, no line at all. You can kick it up a notch by adding some glitter, some lashes, but I think it's a great kind of initial foundation 
staple makeup. Um, and it's romantic and it's pretty and it's easy really ultimately. Um, and you get that, you know, skin look and finish without it being too over the top. Um, but you still get the coverage and the glow that you want and all that drama. So anyway, I really, really love these products. Um, this Wanderlust powder is awesome, you guys. It feels super lightweight. I wanna wear it the rest of the day and kind of see how it goes, how it works with the makeup. Um, I've worn the Wander Beauty and L'Oreal combination um, with a different setting powder, so I'm curious to see kind of how it sets and works today. But this particular foundation, the Fresh Wear, is so good, you guys, and if you haven't gotten your hands on it, I highly recommend that you do, especially if you want lightweight, medium buildable coverage. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like coming down with a cold. Um, and it's just, you know, an all around great lit up fresh face look. And you also have your broad spectrum SPF 25. So if you're into that kind of thing, then that's also great to have. Um, may not help you so much with flashback and that kind of thing, but I mean, at least you're going to get healthy wear. Um, you'll look good in like sunlight photos. So that's something to speak for. And um, this mascara, holy man. Oh my God. Unlashed gonna definitely keep working with this see how it goes hopefully it will not clump or um fall throughout the day i have on like basically one and a half coats right now and i'm really really happy with it because you guys know that i don't do many false lash looks on my um channel mostly because i'm not a huge false lash fan i don't like the way they personally feel on me um but also because if i can achieve it with mascara then why make that extra step to do it with lashes i think lashes are great for special events um but i want to see more of myself and my natural features without having to add anything so that's just who i am but if you love lashes then you do you honey because that's what counts right so thank you guys so much for watching my channel and getting ready with me and um, stay tuned. I will try to get more videos to you. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about this particular look, about what you think about my channel. If you want to chit chat and say hi, share anything with me, I am all ears for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again really soon.